good everything it is monday october the 28th 2024 it's about 2 p.m in the afternoon we're at about high 60s it's a bit windy tomorrow we're supposed to be going up to in the 80s but they said 40 miles an hour wind and then from then on it just fluctuates for the rest of the week a lot of rain on wednesday anyway i figured i'd come out here and do a little bit of something something so i got these four buckets filling with some rain water uh some of the greens that was inedible in my opinion i have them i'm gonna make some funk water then i am going to let that inoculate for about two or three days and I inoc inoculate may be the wrong word let's say brew for about two or three days anyway after I strain that off I'm going to put some natural charcoal pellets or briquettes that I purchased in the water and have them sit for probably another two days before I put them I want to specifically concentrate on my tire beds these two eight by eight beds the six square beds and hopefully those five tire beds and even the bed with the yam and just have those put the um char the what would then be my homemade biochar in those beds and just give them a boost in as far as soil health i will insert in the description the video I'm following Ms. Diva Jones video she has a good video on that from about four years back so if there's something that interests you I suggest you look at that video anyway let me get to harvesting some of this green stuff here and get this funk water made about three or four days and then I'll strain it off and put the charcoal in it and I'll bring you back for that everything it is Wednesday October 30th 2024 it's about 70 degrees outside and rainy uh, I just got back from dropping off some coat to that uh, organization that I told you I was partnering with it is a domestic violence women's shelter so, got that taken care of this morning. Now, what I'm doing today is, I managed to get some of the shrubs that I wanted to propagate, cut yesterday, and I probably should have soaked them in water yesterday, but I didn't. So, I'm trying a little experiment this season, or going into the winter, winter months. And I'm comfortable with planting seeds and bulbs, but what I wanna do now is transition it to propagation so I have a few things that I'm going to attempt to propagate 
I'm going to try some burning bush. I have a rose bush. I have a lilac bush. And I have some um, boxwoods that I'm going to attempt to propagate. Now in these totes that have holes right here, I have peat moss and perlite. I need some more perlite. So that's why I'm not going to put them in this tote today. Once I get the perlite, I will put them in the tote. I will be using a, uh, a rooting hormone to aid in that process. And let's see how successful I could be with propagation. And then once propagation is over and done with, next growing season, we're going to move on to grafting. Now, I know going down the YouTube rabbit holes, there are several videos that tell you about propagation. So I suggest if it's something that interests you, you follow your own good judgment. I'm doing what works for me. It's an experiment and we'll see what happens. So I'll bring you back once these are all potted up. Anyway, before we get to that, this is what the greenhouse is looking like. I brought everything in that's, I want to overwinter. So I got the onions down there, uh, the strawberries, my ginger and turmeric. Uh, there is the asparagus pot. And over here we have the horseradish, lemongrass, and pineapples. And this is supposed to be blackberries. So we'll see what everything turns out to be. Here my elderberries and my uh, barberries. I think they got scorched being in here, but we'll see if they survive. All right, let me go get some of that um, perlite and get this project started. October the 31st, 2024, and it's about 4 p.m. Outside it's uh, 50 degrees, windy, a bit damp, so I am in here, the uh, Thermometer says it's about 75 in here. So I'm going to get this stuff mixed up so I could start on my propagation. So I have to go and get my perlite. I have to go to several different Walmarts. And that's why I am starting this project so late. Uh, this is my rooting hormone that I'm be using. And what I need to do is get this soil damp. So let me get that started. Now I do get bored easily. So once I've tried something and check it out the old list, I might move on to something else so the purpose of this is that being in the greenhouse it will then form a condensation in these totes like a mini greenhouse and thus the plants would have a habitable place to grow I am going to I'm gonna cut these down because I don't want them too long because of the uh, the width in which they're gonna grow once they're in here and start to be uh, sprout I should say I'm going to cut some of these a little shorter. So let me get that done and then I'll bring you back. Alright, so basically I'm going to dab that in the rooting hormone. 
and insert it into this moistened soil. So let me get this done and then I'll bring you back. Now, based on some of the research I see online, the new growth is the part of the cutting that you want to attempt to root. So, uh, that's what I'm opting to try. So, I got a greenhouse, so why not try something right? I have all right so this is what we're looking like boxwoods we have a combination of the rose bush and the burning bush in here and in here I have lilac and some more of the rose bush cuttings in here now I'm supposed to come out here at least once a month and check these totes uh, as long as I if I lift them up and they have some weight to it, then I know the soil hasn't dried out. If it's light and airy as perlite would be, then I know I need to water them. So as long as there's not umpteen feet of snow on the ground, I will come out here and water them and see what, if anything, happens next spring everything it is the first of November 2024 it's about 12 30 50 degrees so I am gonna pick up on my project to get my charcoal uh, inoculated with my funk juice in order to turn it into my homemade biochar so this is the charcoal I got uh, all natural charcoal is what's required so I am going to take some of this used cuttings out of here to make space in the buckets uh, it's not gonna be a clean sieve obviously and then I'm going to put the charcoal in the buckets and let it sit for a few more days so let's get started <laughs> So I only got about two bags in here and I have at least half of that bag and a full bag still to use. But what I'm trying to do is just get it to go down, submerge a little bit. I might have to come back out here and continue to add. I don't know if it's going to actually submerge all the way but got these buckets somewhat filled what I may end up having to do is to come back out here in a few hours and just keep adding and hopefully I'll get all four bags in these buckets that being said trust everyone had a blessed week have an awesome weekend thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. All right. So what I ended up doing was moving the buckets in these beds. That being said, I'm expecting rain. So if I don't get back out here in time to spread the charcoal, at least the runoff will help in the bed that they're intended for. Also, the discarded ways that came out of the buckets i ended up spreading it in some of the uh four by four beds over there so they could compost in place and also help with soil conditioning <laughs>